Swayze M1200, lot 207. Uh, this unit is currently wired 220, and uh, I'm not sure if this can be wired 440. Uh, no, this is 220 only. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a two-speed motor. As you can see, this also has the high and low on it. Um, this machine has been clean and painted on his brand new hydraulic fluid in it. If you come around to the back, uh, the brake didn't work properly when it came in. <clears throat> so we took uh, the whole brake assembly came out, except for the shoe. Uh, the brake piston and everything, housing came off, everything was clean. Broken spring was replaced, it was all put back together. Um, if you come over to here, you'll notice that there's an extension cord hanging out of the front. Um, the coolant pump has been modified. This is not the mechanical coolant pump that came from Warner and Swayze on this machine. There's just an electric pump down in the sump. Um, the oils, or the coolant sump has been completely cleaned out. So this is all ready just to put coolant in it and start to play. Also, if you come over here to the front of the machine and you look, the flaking in the ways is in excellent shape still on this machine. And the reason being, when this machine came in, wherever it was at, uh, they were running cutting oil in it. Cutting oil is like the best lubrication possible for this for any machine. This is constantly lubricating the ways. So even if people forget to uh, fill the grease ports or whatever, because they were running cutting oil, it kept everything constantly lubricated. So there's very, very minimal wear on this machine. Uh, this comes with a square tool post holder. As you can see, it indexes really nicely. <clears throat> Same over the, over here with the hex. It's it's a little tight. That's because when they painted it, they got some paint in the, inside the ways over here. That that will wear off. You can even check the turret clamp. We'll index it halfway, bring it up so the clamp is engaged. As you can see, I can barely budge it, which means that the clamp is perfectly adjusted. Now over here we'll run the machine. You have your high motor, low motor, and then your stop. We're gonna start off on low motor. Spinning. You, right now we're in high, now we're in low, back to high. Low, high. You see the brake is in excellent shape. High, low. Demonstrate the gear ranges. Oh, I'm sorry, the feeds. And then I'll knock off the knees. You can see. We'll do that again. Show you how strong the feet. I can't stop it. Come over here and see when the stop dog comes over and hits the knockoff plunger, it will knock the machine off. I'm sorry, it will knock the feet off. Uh, if you loosen this nut here, uh, that's how you adjust where you want your cross side to knock off. This also has forward and reversing apron. This works for both the gear ranges.
comes with your core nozzle, your flexible nozzle. Now this is high motor. Low motor. High motor. Low motor. As you can see the oil in here is nice and clean. You can see the nice clean red transmission fluid. Uh, the only thing that this machine does come with, it comes with a collet setup that's on it, that's all. No additional collets. Uh, there's one in here, that is what it comes with. It comes with the handles, your square turret, and the two tool post holders that are on the square turret, or on the hex turret, I'm sorry. This is our number three, Warren Swayze M1200.